Hi, now this painting here was um, a commission and I've got two problems here straight away. I could see instantly that the painting was going to be mainly black and white and the background in my photo was completely boring and uninspiring. Um, and the second problem was that you can't really see any eyes on this dog. Okay, and now how did I tackle these problems? Well, I instantly decided that I'm going to entirely just eradicate the background. I wasn't going to paint it, it was just like stones or something. They're just totally grey and dull and boring. So I uh, forgot about that entirely and I went for kind of a semi abstract background. And now, instantly, there, what I can do is um, just bring any colour I want into it to just enliven the picture um, and just get it doing what I want it to do and not just be grey and boring once the whole thing is finished. So my base colour here was like a deep orangey yellow um, along the down the dog's uh, chest you can kind of see the base colour coming through with the yellows shining through the fur and it, and it lends a sense of, sense of light to the picture like it's shiny you know it's got sun on it um, that's all coming from the base colour so there's a good tip for you if you want to try that now the the actual dog itself well this one in particular was kind of black and white when I was talking about the cows before in the other painting there are lots of colours there here less so there are some dark browns like black fur is very rarely black it's usually deep 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 brown so there was some of that which I used clearly as you can see um, but also I'm bringing the blues forward um, that was the main idea here you can see behind the dog's ear in the background that I've got cerulean blue merging into the yellow and also above the top of its head well I did that so that it emphasizes the blues in the dog and it brings those forward um, you can see down in the shadow uh, beneath its chin it almost is green in fact um, it's not something you would expect to see but what that does is it cools that area of the image down and it pushes it back so that the dog's face comes forward and the nose hopefully looks like it's jumping out towards you out of the painting okay now the white fur uh, um, what I did was I mainly painted it just with pure white on a brush uh, I thinned it down a little bit and then I brushed it across and started letting the underpainting show through so that it preserved that kind of freshness and lightness of a dog's fur and then um, just really started thickening it up on top of that so that you got this kind of really kind of shaggy uh, mane almost to the dog and it stays there and it kind of works okay the last point which I used you can see on the dog's nose there is a spot there as it goes up the bridge of the nose which is almost entirely straight out of the tube cerulean blue laid on thick so it doesn't blend in or anything and that was intentional because it lends a sense of color to the entire image as it ties everything together because I've got this kind of theme of the blue going through um, so that so basically I've got two colors two color ideas there's the yellow underneath which gives it the light and there's the blue which cools it down and gives it form okay and so if you cover with your finger on the image you cover up that spot of blue on its nose suddenly the image looks completely different uh, it looks a lot more dull and brown and less interesting and it falls back onto the canvas you put that take your finger away and you look again the nose should jump out of the canvas good trick to know it works the same with reds uh, in a lot of paintings but in this case I use blue hope that helped and gave you some ideas for your paintings Thanks very much. Bye.